sports. Today is Sunday. I'm watching uh, Fox Soccer, watching the highlights. Bolton, Blackpool. I think they really missed uh, Stuart Holden in that one. Clint is crazy. Clint's crazy. Alright, so the game that I'm looking forward to watching is the Roma Palermo game. Man, I am looking forward to this game, I'll tell you. Should be a really good one. Um, but, you know, Palermo, they have a good squad. Uh, Mikuli, Pastore. Um, so we'll see what happens. So you see, I'm in uh, ultra mode right now. This is how I watch the games. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. But, I will wear my scarf like this. You know, I, I, I'm Italian. Big fan of Roman history, a history buff. So, it, to me, it made sense to be a Roma fan. It's kind of odd because my family is actually from Naples, Napoli, which is, you know, our rivals with Roma, so it's a little bit odd. This is David Pizarro's first game back in a long time. He's been out of the squad for a while, so we'll see how that goes. To me, he's the Chilean Paul Skulls. Love John Ron and Risa. And Risa! Release the Kraken! Roma unbeaten in the last seven. Palermo, they wear pink. Not much else to say, but that. I don't think that lineup was right. But we will see how it looks during the game. Alright, we're underway. 7th place versus 6th place. That was a bad foul on Borriello. Totti over the free kick, 5th minute. Right hand side of the field. Play acting. Cassetti. Kind of uh, liability at right back. Uh, I think they should give Cicinio a go. Menez. Boreal. Come on. Oh! Roma definitely dominating the play first 15 minutes. Mickley almost lashed onto the ball, but McSess. Very good defender. Mexes, he's uh, very important to Roma. Very important player. He does have his moments where he lashes out, makes a bad, naive tackle. But it's because he's really, you know, he gets really amped up for the games. I think he's one of the best central defenders out there. Um, does well for France. He's part of Laurent Blanc's French Revolution, as it were. <sighs> Menez, a little, little too cheeky sometimes. Here comes Pastore. Oh, what a tackle by Maxess. That's what I'm talking about. Did you see that? 18th minute. And I'm um, getting a good look at the uh, formation. And it looks like I was right. And Fox Soccer was wrong. It was a 4-3-1-2. Like I thought. Menez. Really? Oh, that was a lot of overcommitting. Palermo coming forward. They got a lot of players forward. <laughs> Could have gone badly. Oh, Palermo are not going to be able to get Marco Cassetti. Nacerino, good shot on Ilicic. Ilicic is on the position. But he does it. Shot comes in. What a goal! Fabrizio Mikuli. Probably 1 0 is the score. Fabrizio Mikuli. Are you kidding me? Mikuli loves to score against Roma, but... Oh, Risa... Risa! Uh, I mean, he's in his position, but... Yeah, Juan and Risa really... God. Well, it's only one. Video alarm detected. What the fu- The game is gone. But the commentary is still there. Fuck. God. They would do this to me, wouldn't they? I mean, Palermo, they just look like they have a lot of speed on the on the counterattack when coming the other way. Yeah, Tati, you would go for that fucking shot, wouldn't you? Oh my god. 
Palermo really pressing high up the pitch. Cassetti, what the motherfuck are you doing? Menez, oh you motherfuck! Fuck. Menez, you're pissing me off. Very, very greedy player. He's so greedy. So greedy. Roma are really reluctant to just thump it out. It's like they want to pass it out. Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh! Man. Not even close, really. Menez. You're not fooling anyone. So. Oh! Corner kick, 43rd minute. Ooh. We're all offside. Oh. No one at the fucking far post. Oh, wow. First half, I need a cigarette. Half time. Boriello getting no service from a... Uh, Tati Menez, like I said, Menez looks very selfish every time he gets the ball. That is his game, you know, to dribble. Borrello just isn't getting the right kind of service. Pizarro, you could tell he hasn't been in the squad for a couple weeks. De Rossi not um, getting in the game, kind of disappearing. He does do a lot of the dirty work, you know, he does, he is focused on his defensive positioning quite a bit. We are controlling the play. Simplicio, he's having a decent game, hasn't played any bad balls. Excess has been a rock at the back. It was just uh, down to Juan and Reese's, their positioning. They are at fault for the goal. It looks like they're doing some kind of zonal marking in the box. Should have been Reese's spot, he should have been on him quicker. Borrello does not look happy with the service or lack of service. So we'll see what they can do different second half. Let's see what happens second half.